an eye-opening clip and definitely makes you think about the seafood that we eat on a regular basis, especially uh, for Koreans here. Uh, let's summarize the video that we just watched. It's about the decline of cod due to human consumption. 배구는 영어로 cod라고 하죠, C-O-D. Um, and it's about this uh, decline because, you know, we eat it so much and it also talked about how there are certain um, trends or different changes in trends uh, in what we eat depending on uh, the supply of it. So once people sort of um, stopped eating cod, uh, they moved on to lobsters and lobster became like the big thing. And uh, yeah, and a decline of species also, uh, it, it's not just that when a species disappears, it just disappears and doesn't have any effect on anything else. That's definitely not true because uh, when a species dies off, it causes a chain reaction and it affects different things. It affects the way we eat, it affects uh, the biodiversity in the ocean, it, it affects the ecosystem in the ocean as well. So the bottom line of the clip is I think we should be more conscious about how the fish that we eat are caught. So it's not just about what food, what types of uh, fish to eat, but also where the fish is caught, how the fish is caught. Um, yeah, some pretty shocking uh, numbers in the clip. Uh, they said 44% of the uh, fish right now are endangered in the ocean uh, and by 2048 there is a possibility that all seafood may be gone for good. So that's pretty shocking. Let's take a look at today's themes. 첫 번째 theme은요, 오늘 밤부터 대구 자비를 중단할 것을 선포한다. 두 번째 문장요, 대구의 가장 큰 불행은 포식자 중 하나가 어, 인간이라는 어, 점입니다. Okay, so these two sentences, we're going to change it up into English. But before we do that, let's take a look at today's uh, key expressions. 지식 복화로 넘어갈게요. 첫 번째 핵심 표현은요, 선포하다. 선포하다. 선포하다는 영어로 declare. De Declare. You can also say declare, but uh, more than declare, a very popular way of saying this uh, in American pronunciation is declare, declare, declare. Okay, let's take a look at some expressions. 그 사람의 결백을 선포하다. Declare one's innocence. Okay, so there is a suspect. And he's saying that, oh no, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. He's declaring his innocence. Uh, 범죄와의 전쟁을 선포하다. You can declare war against crime. So a uh, long time ago, we watched a video talking about New York and how New, New York declared war against crime. Crime. So sometimes uh, cities or countries, uh, they have these sort of political slogans saying that they declare war on crime or they declare war on violence or they declare war on gun violence, things like that. Uh, 어업금지를 선포하다 할 때는 declare a ban on fishing, okay? Ban means to, uh, means to stop something, stop something uh, legally. Okay, 선포하다는 다시 한번 declare, declare. 두 번째 핵심 표현 소개해 드리겠습니다. 포식자. 포식자는 predator, 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 predator. Very good. Okay, 자연적 포식자 아니면 천적은 natural predators라고 할수 있겠죠? 뭐 natural enemy라는 표현도 예전에 배웠죠? 아, 네, natural predator 혹은 predators 복수 형태로 아, 포식자 기업은 a corporate predator. So what do I mean by a corporate predator? Well, a good example are um, like big companies. So uh, big companies sometimes like chains or franchises, uh, they can, if they come in in a certain neighborhood, they can take business away from like local businesses. So that's what you would call a corporate predator. 
가장 위험한 포식자는 uh, the most dangerous predator. The most dangerous predator. What do you think is the most dangerous predator in the wild? What is the most dangerous predator in the wild? 그리고 반대로 먹이 혹은 사냥감은 prey라고 합니다. 그래서 predator versus prey라고 자주 하잖아요. Predator, prey. Predator, prey. 다시 한번 포식자는 predator, predator. Okay, let's take a look at the first theme. 오늘 밤부터 대구 자비를 중단할 것을 선포한다 인데요. 제가 조금 바꿀게요. 캐나다 정보는 오늘 밤부터 대구 자비를 중단할 것을 선포한다. Okay? Let's take a look at the first part of the sentence. 캐나다 정부는 캐나다 정부는 the government of Canada. There aren't many governments of Canada. There's only one. So the government, government spelling 조심하세요. 여기 G O V E R N M 입니다. Government of Canada. 캐나다는 항상 C가 대문자에 되고요. Declares 오늘 배웠던 핵심 표현이죠. 선포하다. Declare. 그래서 여기서는 어, government 이니까 declares 라고 해야 되겠죠. it 로 생각하시면 돼요. it declares. the government of Canada declares. 그 다음에요. 오늘 밤부터 대구 자비를 중단할 것을. Okay? 중단은 그냥 ban 라고 하셔도 되고요. halt 라는 단어도 있습니다. halt means to completely stop something. Okay? so a ban on a ban on what? On cod fishing. 대구 자비를 cod fishing이라고 합니다. 어, 그리고 오늘 밤부터, 오늘 밤부터, as of tonight, as of tonight, as of tonight 말고 어, 오늘부터 시작한다고 할 때는 starting tonight라고 표현하셔도 되고요. Okay, 캐나다 정부는 the government of Canada 선포한다. Declares, 뭐를 선포해요? A ban on cod fishing. A ban on cod fishing. Okay, 대구 자비를 중단하다. 오늘 밤부터, as of tonight. Okay, so let's read it together. The government of Canada declares a ban on cod fishing as of tonight. The government of Canada declares a ban on cod fishing as of tonight. Make sure when I read these sentences, you are following after me because that's the only way you will improve speaking is if you practice out loud. Let's take a look at the second theme. 대구의 가장 큰 불행은 포식자 중 하나가 인간이라는 어, 점입니다. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, 대구의 가장 큰 불행은 불행은 misfortune이라고 표현, 표현할게요. 그리고 가장 큰 Okay, it's a superlative. In a superlative, you need the, so the biggest misfortune. 누구에게요? For cause, 대구에, for cause is 포식자 중 하나가 인간이라는 점이다. That로 연결시킬게요. 그래서 that. Human beings, 인간이, are one of their predators. 포식자 중 하나가. Okay, so one of blank, one of blank. 뭐뭐 중 하나, one of blank. 이거를 외우시면 돼요, 이 패턴, one of blank. Okay, so that human beings are one of their predators. Their는 대구들을 표시하는 거죠. Okay, so that human beings are one of their predators. 여기서 순서를, 순서를 살짝 바꿔볼게요. That one of their predators are humans. 이렇게 순서를 바꿔도 됩니다. Okay? Let's take a look at the final sentence. 자, 대구의 가장 큰 불행은 어, 포식자 중 하나가 인간이, 인간이라는 점입니다. The biggest misfortune for cause, 대구의 가장 큰 불행은 is 뭐예요? That one of their predators, 포식자 중 하나가, are humans, 인간이라는 점입니다. Okay? Let's read it together. The biggest misfortune for cods is that one of their predators are humans. Very good. 
Let's review everything that we learned today. 자, 선포하다. Declare입니다. 자, 발음 조심하세요. Declare. 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 Very good. 포식자는 predator. What's the opposite of predator? Do you remember? Prey. That's why predator versus prey. Okay? Predator. Let's take a look at the first theme. The government of Canada declares a ban on cod fishing as of tonight. So a ban means to stop something, but uh, usually in a legal way, right? So it's usually a government who bans certain things. So the government of Canada declares a ban on cod fishing as of tonight. 오늘부터. 자, 따라해보세요. The government of Canada declares a ban on cod fishing as of tonight. Very good. In the second sentence, the biggest misfortune for cods is that one of their predators are humans. Okay, 불행을 misfortune라고 했습니다. 큰 소리로 따라해보세요. The biggest misfortune for cods is that one of their predators are humans. Very good. And that is about all the time we have for today. But before you go, I have a few questions for you to think about. Um, so in the video, I talked about how there's a chance that in 2048, all seafood could be gone. So can you imagine what would happen if fish went extinct? What do you think will happen? Um, do you think there would be an alternative for humans? Do you think people would just quit seafood altogether. I mean, if it, if it does go extinct, we may have to uh, move towards like uh, shell animals, right? Uh, okay, my second question is, what are some sustainable ways to maintain fishery? What are some sustainable ways to maintain fishery? So sustainable, meaning that we can continue to have them alive as opposed to uh, have the population decline. Okay, some things to think about. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Don't forget to check out our website at www.ebse.co.kr. You can watch previous episodes that have been aired. And you can watch them at any time for free. So be sure to make use of that. Also, you can post up your questions and comments as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.